Hello everybody, welcome back to another quick AI video. In this one, I'm using Huxley.ai or Huxley, and this AI tool is good at math. That's right, I said it. Almost every AI tool is good at making essays and, you know, helping you with your content writing and things like that, but very bad at math. Well, this tool can do both, and let me show you how to do that. So the first step here is you want to go to Huxley.ai. Link will be in the description below. And then you just want to click on log in. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I've got an account. If you don't have an account, just go ahead and click on sign up here and you can sign in with your Google Gmail account. Now I'm going to switch browsers over here and show you what it looks like when you're logged in. Now, when you log in, this is what you're going to see. What we're going to do today is math tutor. But before I get into the math, just keep in mind that there are lecture to notes, writing essays, humanizing text, all of these other features that are really, really, really good, uh, especially this humanized text. If you've got some, you know, if you've got, uh, if you're writing for uh, an essay or you're writing for a blog and you want to make sure it sounds human because you're using some AI in there, well, just go ahead and use humanized text. But that out of the way, let's go ahead and click on Math Tutor. And now I'm going to show you how to solve math problems using Huxley. All right, so you'll see here that I am in the Math Solver. Keep in mind that it's in beta, so it's constantly improving. And here it is. On um, It's very simple. What you got to do is you just type in your question. But before I do that, look up here at the top right. You're going to see that there is a fast option. This is what I would choose if I want to get an answer, but I don't really want to know all of the explanations. I don't usually select this one because I prefer to get the detailed explanation. So I will select advanced. And this is better because it gives you the actual steps that were taken to solve the problem. It's one thing to get the right answer. It's another thing to get the right answer and know why it got the right answer. And if it's not the right answer, you can go ahead and troubleshoot it. All right, so here we go. I've got advanced selected. Now the next step is I'm going to go over to this website here. This is the Oxford uh, Physics Problems. They've got a whole bunch of really difficult math equations and, and physics problems here. This is for the physics aptitude test at the University of Oxford. So these are not uh, nice and, you know, softball questions here, guys. These are real math questions. So I'm just going to go ahead and just slide through here and pick a question, I guess, kind of at random here. Let's go ahead and grab this one here. And it's further problems. The drag force F on a sphere is related to the radius of the sphere. Holy smokes. Yeah, math wasn't my thing. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this, copy and paste it. So I'm just going to copy the equation in here. So here we go. Again, I'm selected on advance. I'll just copy it bit by bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit go. And then while it's calculating this, you'll see here that you have the incredible option to play Tetris. So I'm not going to do it, but if you guys, you know, you're waiting for your answer, just go ahead and oh, I don't even know how to play Tetris. All right, so it has gone ahead and calculated. Remember, we're still on advanced here, but look at this. I mean, holy smokes. I should remember note that you can have LaTeX and Unicode. But to get into it, this is not just like, here's your right answer. Look at this. It's giving you a very detailed answer with the equation and all of this broken down drag force, radius, coefficient of viscosity, velocity, letters and numbers. A lot of these things I don't even really understand. But hey, check it out. So let's see what the answer is. So Or simply, F equals KRNV. Okay. All right. I got to go brush up on my physics. And what is the answer? F equals K R N V. Wow, there it is, guys. Look at that. And if you're thinking, hey, well, maybe uh, it just took this answer directly because it had read it before. Let's look at the difference here. This is where it gets really interesting. So it explains the steps to solve this problem for the dimension. What does this say? This does not have the exact text in there. So this is the hint. So and then this is the solution. But the solutions while they are, you know, they get the right answer, they're different. They're not the same thing. They come up with the same answers, don't get me wrong, but this is not a direct copy of what was on this website. This is its own interpretation. As you can see here, they're very, very different in terms of, you know, not only just formatting, but how they got to the same answers. Here's this version here. This is amazing, guys. This is a AI tool that can do math and explain it to you. That's all I got for you on this one, guys. You really got to check this out. Huxley.ai. Link is in the description below. Give it a run. 